Alert! Major GT6 story leaks just hit the internet, and the hype is real. This could be the biggest game launch of the decade, and with so much anticipation, leaks were almost inevitable. Rumors and spoilers are swirling, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. As we approach the release, disc manufacturing and distribution ramp up, increasing the risk of leaks. Remember how Red Dead Redemption 2 got spoiled just weeks before launch. It's a deja vu all over again. To keep your experience fresh, mute keywords and steer clear of social media in the final weeks before launch. Protect your gaming experience from spoilers. What do you think about these leaks? Was it an inside job or just someone seeking clout? Share your thoughts below, subscribe if you want me to give away multiple GT6 copies on the release date. Thank you and let's go. So before we get started and get to that leaked stuff, let's talk about how to avoid all the spoilers and how to avoid all this stuff. But honestly, what I think the leaks that were leaked today are probably just the hype up by the Twitter community and probably not real. But if you want to skip that information, you better do. But first of all, let's start with information about how to avoid. How will you avoid the spoilers? What will you do to avoid spoilers? And when will you do it? Week before launch or a day before? I'll just mute the words like GT6, Granite, out to leaks Lucia and Jason on Twitter and stay off this stuff a few weeks before launch, provided more stuff hasn't leaked beforehand. Honestly, what I would do if uh, most of y'all are scared, scared of the leaks, uh, I would just leave all the social media right there. It's not hard and probably you'll fix your social media addiction for that too. But I would really like to see the spoilers even before the game. I'm really a fan of spoilers, even though that sounds like I'm some kind of psycho, but it's actually really interesting to see spoilers and then play it once more as I probably will look into the spoilers and show the spoilers to the people on my channel, of course, for the ones who want it. But honestly, what I would, would suggest you not to watch the videos in the future, just like weeks before that before because I'm actually going to leak a lot of stuff if it's going to be spoiled right there. So something to consider in regards to leaks and potential spoilers and steps to avoid. This is going to be the biggest launch of the last decade. People will do anything for cloud and if the trailer for and if the trailer for the most anticipated game on the planet got leaked, then Rockstar has a big task ahead of them. You've perhaps seen rumors of story spoilers doing the rounds, but trust me, that's the least of, uh, of yours and Rockstar's concerns. What we really have to worry about is the last three or four to four weeks before a launch, when disc manufacture and distribution to retailers is full steam ahead. Now the chances of a disc magically going poof is naturally high for a game of this magnitude. For perspective someone got a hold of Red Redemption 2 early around October 10th, 2018, and leaks weren't that far behind. I would readily recommend muting keywords and if possible avoid social media the last two weeks, maybe even avoid watching GT YouTubers or pages who ruin exploration by uploading uh, easter eggs a few days in. I know some had their Red Redemption 2 experience ruined with the spoilers everywhere, what steps will you be taking the last few weeks? But now we are going to today's leaked stuff, as I honestly think this one is not leaked in just someone's suggestion, but if you are worried about it being an actual leak, you better just skip this part and watch the next one, because this is the only leak we are going to talk about in today's video. So this guy is saying that he had this GT6 chapter 1 script for a few months now. Few months, just remember that, why didn't he leak it before, why he's leaking it right now, that's already a suspicion. This is the script for the first cinematic sequence, and if you want to see more, I'll post a mission for every 0.1 Bitcoin. So yeah, someone just wants to get a clout and some money for it, but trust me, it is not real. That just of his post as itself. But let's go through this and have a look at this script. The story starts with a black screen where a stanza from a fictionalized poem inspired by the real-life Bonnie and Clyde poem appears. In the background, we hear the natural ambience of the Leonida wilderness, the wind rustling through the trees and foliage, the faint sounds of cars pace passing by on the highway, birds chirping. 
Then it cuts to shots of the prison exterior, the one Lucy is currently incinerated in. The shots alternate between exterior and interior shots of the prison complex. All the while, a brief narration from Lucy is overlaid on top. She discusses the nature of relationships in humans and the concept of love. She talks about how powerful it can be and how easy it can be used to do good in a world, but also justify doing bad things as well. After the narration, we see Lucia standing by the window in her cell. We can hear the sounds of locks being unlocked and then the door to her cell being opened. A man's voice calls out to her, telling her to step outside of her cell as she walks out and stands in a doorway as the guard puts handcuffs on her and shackles around her ankles. As this is where the player gains control of Lucia for the first time. This is a very tight linear sequence that has the player following the guard, escorting her to the administrative wing of the prison complex. The player is able to move the camera around, the examine certain objects and also interact with the certain NPCs, just like in Red Dead Redemption 2. Once Lucia and the guard reach the admin building, Lucia is brought to Stephanie's office and guard removes her handcuffs and shackles and then leads her into the office. Here we see Stefania reading Lucia's file aloud as the motions with her hand for Lucia to sit. As Stephanie reads the file, we learn of the crime Lucia was convicted of, what her original charges were, and details of how her trial went. She then looks up at Lucia. Stefania says, Lucia, do you know why you're here? And Lucia, bad luck, I guess. Of course, we already knew that. So, there probably the script continues with way more information as we could see. Uh, so, there's brief pause, Stefania, like the storyline uh, de de describes. But if you want a full script uh, be written by me, just write down in the comments and I'm going to, throw, go, going to go through all of this information right there if you are interested in this one. But honestly, all I think this one is probably fake. The next thing we're going to talk about is this one, Next Step. And this is the next step in Lanita's map project. This guy is making the whole map that you can view on his website. The project's still in works and we still don't uh, have access to it. But as soon as uh, this guy is going to show it on his Twitter, I'm going to show it on YouTube and put a link down for this project. But it already looks promising as he just made a lot of locations and a lot of work on it. We can see the 2022 lake positions on map as well. So here we could see some comments from his uh, to wit. Why is Hamlet called Homestead? This change was made a few months ago and no one commented on it. Is there a reason? The city is called Hamlet, not Homestead. We have no evidence showing that Hamlet is located at this position. Instead, there is uh, are indications suggesting that Hamlet is at a completely different location on the map. This is what I've been trying to make well in Canova, low. Can't wait to see the real thing and looking amazing already. Also so happy some aren't afraid to actually show the leaks, especially in 2024. Next up we're going for is this. One day we will have a GT game as big as the entire United States, hopefully GT7 or 8. Hope we can live long enough to see that. Regarding the supposed leaks of GT6 that everyone is talking about, I just remember that a story for Redemption 2 leaked a few years before the release in Reddit, and only a few people found out about it, so really be careful about it. Guys, anyone in the GT6 community who wants to avoid story spoilers, please be very careful on Twitter. There are a lot of confirmed spoilers going around, and look at them hyping the top saying that it's confirmed. It's not confirmed, and all of these spoilers are probably just suggestions of the community, and they're trying to make hype on the Twitter right now, so more people come to Twitter to check out these kind of pause because they started once in a while, so probably they're hyping up the game just that. Map gameplay leaks and rumors are one thing, but story spoilers, this is just not right. Stay safe everyone. And here we could see a small screenshot. GT6 news, GT6 story got licked. And here we go, not verified, as this is how it looks. Introduction, conflict rise in action, fall in action, resolution. Yeah, that's just a great storyline I would tell. So probably as well, some people just laughing on it. Who or how do you think GT6 got licked? Me and my dad had a little disagreement on how and who actually leaked GTA. 
he says it was Rockstar on purpose to get hype, views, etc. I don't think so, because someone got arrested for it and charged, and I don't think Rockstar would on purpose, especially in very early development. Same thing with the trailer. I don't know uh, exactly when, I could be wrong, but the trailer earlier got leaked a couple of hours before Rockstar planned to show it. He also said it was Rockstar on purpose, I don't know, believe him, but he has been right on some crazy shit, so what are your guys' thoughts on what happened? About the trailer, we already got confirmed information that someone bought their uh, admin tool on YouTube and just downloaded the trailer and licked it before the actual release. About the actual leaks, we already have any confirmed information that someone got put not in jail but in a special uh, like building where all the psychos I, I don't know how to tell it in English because I'm not a native speaker, but you already know that information we already talked it before. I just don't remember this stuff. So basically, there's all information for today. If you're excited and want to know more, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one and peace.